Midnight, the internet comedy game show that was predicted by Nostradamus 500 years ago. <laughs> Tonight, we'll be having fun with videos like this. I know. Let's meet tonight's panelists. <laughs> you know her from her Netflix special, To Catch a <laughs> and her new book, Living My Best Life, hun. It's London Hughes. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm London. I'm black and British, which means I'm happy to represent the entire diversity quota for tonight's show. <laughs> He's a stand-up comic whose new Netflix special, Working Man, is out now. It's Dusty Slay. All right. I was told there would be sandwiches, but I am excited to finally get to do a YouTube. That is, uh, <laughs> thank you for having me. We're having a good time. All right. <laughs> And she's a comedian and podcaster whose stand-up special 44 is out on YouTube. It's Sarah Tiana. I'm very happy for you. You're crushing it on this show. I'm so happy for you. Not only because it's like only you and Reba McIntyre that can pull off red. And I am like so jealous of that. But I'm also just so excited to be here because I have never been this close to CBS. I thought it was either this or kill my whole family and get on 60 Minutes. Like, this is so exciting. <laughs> After Midnight starts now. OK, panelists, tonight you'll all be playing for a dental goodie bag. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, 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 comes complete with a thimble's worth of toothpaste and the least bendy toothbrush ever created. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with what's going down in the group chat. Panelists, <laughs> buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. <laughs> These are the stories people are talking about on the internet today. To be on TV is to be strong, brave, and noble. <laughs> Anything can happen, and every day, entertainers like me are fighting to keep it together, no matter what. <laughs> this is why they decorate us with honors. But oftentimes, there's a fallen hero, like this Jeopardy contestant, Mira Hayward, who innocently tried to mime zeros at her fellow contestants. Kid, as you may hear, nobody wins anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not a pervert, so yeah, this looks fine to me. I see nothing weird. <laughs> see nothing weird. Panelists, as if you're on Jeopardy, explain this maneuver in the form of a question. <laughs> Sarah? Uh, this is the way into Hall and Oates dressing room. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Dusty? Okay, what is, if I win this, there's something in it for everyone. <laughs> with a huge penis. <laughs> right. And you said penis, so we won't even have to bleep it. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Looking for sexy singles in your area? Be careful what you wish for, because the hottest people aren't always the smartest. And I can say this because... <laughs> no, it's not what you think. I'm, I'm very smart. <laughs> But this harmful yet true stereotype was reinforced by current star of The Bachelor, Joey Grazade, in this Betches interview. I do know who this person is. Is it Ruth? No. Is Ginsburg, Ginsburg, something like that? Am I wrong? Okay, yeah, well, before you jump down his throat, Gypsy Rose and RBG have a lot in common, like intimate knowledge of the legal system. <laughs> Feminist queen! Woo! So, panel, obviously we're not mad at him for this mistake because he's hot. <laughs> what else could he use his good looks to get away with? Sarah. Mispronouncing the word genre. <laughs> <laughs> London. Storm in the capital. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Get away with being on a show where a bunch of women just want to marry you? <laughs> 
mind. We should get we should get an ugly I mean, bachelor. Come on. That would be wouldn't that be fun? That would be really I mean, fun. And this guy's <laughs> I we, like women who like brown liquor and NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> We'd wrap this up in one round. Yeah. I can tell you that. <laughs> you wouldn't need a whole season. We could get it done quick. I'm like, I'll take a couple and let's get out of here. <laughs> The Super Bowl is this Sunday, and I forgot what network it's on. Um, oh, that's right. The C in CBS stands for sports. Yeah. According to this tweet, the broadcast will feature 165 cameras, including six, quote, doink cameras. <laughs> and I know we all know what doink cameras are. Yeah, no, because we're all very grown-up sports fans who don't giggle at the word doink, which, which I'm well aware is a term used to describe an NFL field goal or extra point hitting the frame of the goalposts and not going in. It's like, duh. Like, what else could that mean? Yeah. No, we all know. No, comedians, I'm seriously asking, what else could doink cam mean? <laughs> Sarah? Uh, isn't a doink cam what filmed Drake in his private jet this morning? <laughs> London. <laughs> um, no, Doink is the noise Scooby Doo makes when he's having an orgasm. <laughs> Doink? Right here? <laughs> Today, in guys who look like other guys, <laughs> many people online are saying that 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy bears a striking resemblance to JFK assassin Lee Harvey Oswald. Oh. I see it. They're both family men, and they both have incredible aim. <laughs> I mean, that's insane. That's just a wow. filter on that guy, isn't it? That's perfect. Now, panel, for 100 points, how was Lee Harvey Oswald able to fire on JFK from multiple angles if he only had one vantage point? <laughs> London. I don't know who these white people are. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the wonderful world of words, college admissions offices have caught applicants using chat GPT to write their admissions essays. And for that reason, these crafty students are now hiring human beings to un-AI their essays. Job creators. Sounding human seems like a helpful modern skill, so panel, sound human. <laughs> Sarah. No, a doink is just when people uh -huh. are kind of you. Ah, look at that. Work the stage. Work the stage. Oh, that was too funny. <laughs> oh. Give her the whole two next round. I'm next giving round. you more. Oh, London oh. gave you points on that one. Oh. That was great. Oh, Dusty. Jesus. I don't get the last joke, I'll be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I totally went over my, I don't know what we're talking about, but, uh... <laughs> London and Sarah are tied for first with 600 points. 